Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Always, and welcome back to Sky Bees. In the last episode, we were working on trying to get this base finished and finish the series because today is hopefully going to be the final episode of the series, uh, depending on how long everything takes us. We don't have that much to do, but we do have quite a bit to do. A lot of it is going to be off camera, and speaking of which, I have been a very busy bee. I have been getting a lot of AFKing done. Um, we're actually getting there. Uh, so I had just made another uh, set of singularities in our singularity machine. Um, and we are up to 21 out of the technically 24 that we need in this chest. Uh, we need 25 in total, but we have one in our um, base. So yeah, I have been... AFKing and then occasionally doing a little bit of building. Um, so I still need to finish that building. I need to finish this building. I need to finish the blood magic area. But I went ahead and put a floor and um, put the roof in for our area and finished building this. So um, our main like area is finished and it is nice and neat and everything looks great. Um, obviously there's still, I didn't worry about pipes, I'll be honest. That, that was less of a concern. Um, but yeah, we have a lot of stuff being processed and we are up to, for the record, 15% um, full of honey, um, still 0% full of beeswax. Uh, it, those things can store a lot of things and this fills up way too quickly. Um, but yeah, I wanted to bring you guys in for a little bit of an update. Um, we're going to do a little bit of work. Uh, so for the most part, everything is finished building except for that hexagon, the blood magic, the uh, immersive, and then I need to just build this building. Um, there's a couple other things that I'd like to do. Uh, I did get rid of the dolphins, uh, event uh, uh, finally, rather. <laughs> Not eventually, finally. Um, we need to put some sort of support for this. Uh, don't know what I want to do for that. We might just do chains. Uh, but yeah, we have a little bit of building left to do, and I want to show off what I'm going to do for this before we actually do it. Um, but if we look at our map, you can see it's actually kind of doing what I wanted it to do. All of the different squares, except for a few, these three are unfortunately all kind of the same. Um, but a lot of our squares are different colors, and that's what I wanted. I wanted variety. And so uh, I do need to come up with something on this. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do, but for this hexagon, what I am going to work on is taking all of this stuff and moving it in there. Uh, and anything that's basically like uh, just kind of simple machines. We're going to keep our lava production stuff there because why not? Um, I moved the mining dimension there. I can't remember. It's been a while since we've been on this um <laughs> this mod pack for you know doing episodes so uh, I have been trying to get rid of torches for the most part but probably won't care too much about that um and yeah so I I've, I've got to do something here and looking at the map we have bright green uh I think I can do a couple of different things and so I have three options we can make constantan sheet metal which is just copper and nickel however i'm realizing copper is something we're kind of struggling on uh nickel is also something that we need a lot of so maybe not that uh how is is this silver no that's tin this has got to be silver then silver is also not doing too well so we might not want to do silver sheet metal but we can make sheet metal in any color that we want because we can take whatever sheet metal we have and turn it into different we can dye it basically uh and so maybe we'll go for extreme Ooh, we could do cyan but we have like cyan concrete here um which for the record i was going to make a concrete machine um but then i decided just to uh do it manually by pouring water on top of powder um, so we need to put some sheet metal here. That's what that going. That's what that area is going to look like. Um, I think Constantine would look the neat, the, the like the nicest, except next to that. So we might actually go ahead and do this purple sheet metal, 
And in that case, what we can always do is make sheet metal out of, actually we can't use iron. Iron is really low. Um, we could make aluminum sheet metal. Uh, that would probably be all right. Um, or steel. Steel sheet metal would actually be probably the best. Uh, that is that is funny to me. Uh, so we need to just get sheet metal. And we also, we actually don't need all that much. Um, it is a one-to-one -one block. Uh, I don't know how many blocks are there, but we are going to go ahead and make... Uh, do we have any patterns for sheet metal? Uh, we have aluminum sheet metal. So, you know what? I might just do that. So, let's see how that looks. Uh, do I have any aluminum sheet metal? I realize I, I use this to make the, the roof. Um, and those are all slabs for the record. And then purple dye uh, might actually be a bit of a problem. Do we have... Okay, so we do have RGB honeycombs. Let's get eight of these. And let's see how purple looks. So first, uh, the first kind of test is what does it look here? Um, that actually looks really pretty. Uh, I like that. Um, but the more important question is once we get a little bit of this place, what does it look like on the map? And that is kind of important. Oh, it's steel. It's the aluminum color. Okay, so we might use this somewhere else. Um, but I'll have to think of something else to do here. So this is the plan for this episode. I am going to go do a bunch of things. I have a ton of Wither Skeleton Skulls and Soul Sand in my inventory. We are going to get some uh, reinforced... Uh, let's see... Wither proof. Nope. Okay. <laughs> we, we need some wither proof blocks. Um, we could make those, but those are terrible. Uh, there is reinforced obsidian. I thought. Hmm. We're going to need to get something that is blast proof. No. Um, tempered glass. Witherproof glass. Yeah, that's not going to work. So I am going to need to probably, I think, I think I was making, um, this is probably going to crash my game when I come back. Um, wasn't it here that we were doing things before? I don't remember. Um, we need to, we need to get rid of, we need to get rid of the wither. Um, we need to fight the wither a bunch of times. And I know we've done that quite a bit, but I don't remember where we did it. Uh, I'll be honest. And, haha, uh -huh, there is another teleporter there. So let's just try to get over there. It should be at the same Y level. And I think we have stuff there. Um, but we'll see we'll see once we get over there. But yeah, we, we need to kind of not take too much time. Yeah, this probably isn't gonna be the last episode, but we're we're very, very close. There's a teleporter right over here. Um, and I need to figure out where we're going to fight the, the wither. You know, can I just... A lot easier. Um, so the question is... Where is... This teleporter? There goes my pick. Okay. So, um, I am going to, <laughs> I'm going to, uh, figure out how to get back to that teleporter. Um, I'll try to find it. It's somewhere around here. 
Uh, it's probably a little, it says it's five meters. And so it is probably up or down or just on the other side of the wall. Um, I am going to figure out how to get to it. I'm going to go get a new netherite pick and um, yeah, we'll come back once I have a little bit stuff, a little bit more stuff ready and we'll get into this episode and hopefully do some, some cool stuff. Yeah, it didn't crash. That is a victory for, for that. So I will be back once I have a little bit more done and I'm going to get to work on building up some stuff. So be right back. Once those four lights light up, we will have everything we need to get into the creative items. That is how close we are. We currently have 23 of the 24 singularities plus the extra one um, that we need to duplicate. And yeah, we are so close, but it's going to take some time. Now, I have been busy between clips. Uh, it's been a day for me, uh, quite literally. And I decided to go with purple blocks for the machine area. And this is all I got. Um, <laughs> that's it. Uh, what else did I do? I also worked on this building. This building is getting close to being done. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with the floor. Also, I moved the blood magic area up and made this really cool like design. Uh, these are uh, wood paths and stone paths, uh, which are made with just wood and stone and a blood orb uh, of any type. And yeah, I, I moved everything up one block. It was... It was annoying, um, but uh, I think this looks really nice. Unfortunately, let's back up a little bit. It doesn't look as nice on the map, and that's been the problem I've been having, is things don't look as good on the map as what they do in person. Um, so I'm going to have to keep that in mind for the immersive engineering area. Um, but other than that, we are pretty much done building. we got to finish that building, which is a lot of porcelain clay. Um, we got to finish this hexagon. And I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. So we are getting close to being done with the building part and our base will be complete. Um, now, I have also been working between clips. Um, I keep wanting to say between episodes uh, to finish up the um, monster hunting quest. So we have 97 Enderman. I have this really cheaty um, ceiling, and there is the 100 Enderman, um, and then I also worked on another one, uh, so let's just spawn a few of these in, any, any time they want to come in, oh, there it's pinned, what, so it pins when they're completed, that's dumb, um, so we need to kill four witches. I think, I don't think there's four witches in here, but witches can't really do much against us because we have a lot of, um, protection against witches. Uh, so we need just two more. Let's just spawn a couple more in. There we go. And while I'm waiting for all of the goodies... We're going we're gonna to be working on something that is going to be really, really, really nasty. Oh, there is one other thing I wanted to do. I almost forgot about that. Um, so we are close to a lot of these. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I made purple blocks pretty easy. Just pop cores fruit. Just made a uh, garden, well, got the garden cloche out and hooked it up. Uh, no big deal with that. Um, so... There is one other thing that I want to do uh, before we head over and start talking about fighting the withers. Uh, I made some more luminizers, which the recipes for these, again, is dragonstone, glowstone, and red string. Red string is this recipe, which is kind of annoying. Uh, dragonstone is elven trade. Um, we had some of those. We are going to turn four of these into detector luminizers and four of them into toggle luminizers and hopefully this will work the way i want it to because i noticed there's these cool little lines that show up between all of the luminizers uh and so what happens i need to grab a uh wand of the forest 
I need to find my wand of the forest. It's probably in the Batania area. Um, so I made made those just so that I could see what it would look like for this. Because I think magical, we need to have some sort of like connector here. Um, now, if we do that, it is unfortunately um, dark. But what happens if we do something like this and then bind those two? We get cool little effects. All right, that works for me. Um, so we're gonna do that just for decorations um, so that it looks kind of like it's magical rope. Uh, and I want to use the purple on the bottom and the red on top because shadows or something I don't know um, just because and we'll get this taken care of um, and we just bind these together uh, if I actually click the right thing and we get these little cool ropes and honestly I think that looks nice um, yeah, that's what we're going to go with. So that is done. So I just need to finish um, this building. Uh, that is just a box. Uh, I decided not to worry about putting windows on that one. Um, but this one has a couple windows because I thought it looked too boxy. Um, I got to figure out what I'm going to put down for this. Probably some sort of concrete. Uh, I'll be honest. And yeah, um, it is time for us to go do something terrible. So... I went ahead and made, I couldn't figure out, I can't remember how I did the Wither fight originally, because it's been a while. Um, we haven't fought a Wither for quite some time. Um, so I went ahead and made this Wither proof block, um, which this is obsidian and steel scaffolding and Wither skulls, not that difficult to make. Uh, and I decided I would show off the first fight because I'm a little bit worried. Um, so much so that I decided to uh, go ahead and get some strength. We're going to get strength two. Um, this is a full beacon and I decided to flex a little bit. Uh, it's made out of netherite blocks except for um, these top nine blocks. Everything else on that pyramid is netherite. So um, we're going to get some strength and let's just see what happens. Um, hopefully this fight goes well. Hopefully the wither is contained and I should probably grab my bow just in case. So, okay. That is a disaster. Um, okay. That didn't work. Um, what I would probably do is uh, make make some more things. Um, did we lose that nether star completely? Not a big deal if we did. Uh, okay. So what the plan is gonna be is I'm gonna re I'm gonna put another layer on top of this, uh, and that should be safe enough. Um, I might record my next fight just in case uh, something goes terribly wrong. Um, but yeah, so uh, I'll fix that. And then I have a bunch more withers to fight. Um, we need to kill 18, no, 28 more. <laughs> I can do math. Um, I'm also going to probably work on the shulkers and blazes while we're at it so uh, I'm gonna make another cut here I'm going to go do a lot of work and you guys will see the uh, the fruits of it in moments but it will take probably hours for me so yeah fun times for me I have improved upon the wither cage uh, as you can see I've well maybe you can't tell but I raised up one more block I also moved the entrance to over here and this is the last wither that we need to kill. Um, we only have one more. Uh, fun fact, I brought exactly enough uh, wither skeleton skulls when I started uh, <laughs> that I was going to need. 
Um, my sword has beheading on it now and sweeping edge. I had a book that was beheading and sweeping edge too. Um, and I've gotten a, a few wither skeleton skulls from this guy. But there we go. There is all of the withers. Um, never had any problems with the, the wither escaping, so that was good. Um, now I am not quite ready. So I, I hate that it's doing that. Uh, I'm not quite ready to do too much more. Um, however, I did finish up um, the buildings. So uh, you saw this before. Uh, I was finishing up this guy, and uh, I've also got this turned on to get a bunch of essence. Um, but yeah, so I finished up this guy. I decided to go with green concrete because it looks like grass. It looks nice on the map, and it well, it, it goes well with this. So uh, that is our immersive room. And I finished this building, which looks really nice, and I got a warped uh, four-panel door. So that is a dark oak door with warp wood, and it looks so good. Now, we have two more mobs that we can complete our quest for. Um, the first one is going to be shulkers. Um, we are six shulkers away, and there's one, two. These guys are an absolute pain to deal with. Um, because they teleport all over the place, like so. Uh, I haven't had any issues with them like attacking things they shouldn't, but I do tend to lose them. Uh, they they teleport almost immediately too, which is awful. But there is three, so we just need three more, and that might be enough. Uh, I think. So let's just get rid of one, two, and uh, no more shulkers. Uh, so I did have to make another shulker uh, doll. Uh, that is a pretty easy one to do. It was just this one, the floating doll. Not a difficult recipe. Uh, and yeah, all that's left now is, or let, I'm ready to do is... Uh, blazes which we need four more um, pretty easy we just gotta wait for them to spawn like so and then these guys are actually oof, a little bit of a lag spike and there is the blazes so that is almost everything there's only a couple things left that we need to actually uh, collect, so to speak, and that is a B. We need to kill a hundred gas, which that is a full out one hundred gas. Uh, let's get. I don't think I have a gas currently, so let's do that real quick. Um, and that's probably going to be one of the last things we do. So we're going to need another mob imprisonment tool one of these things not too bad and i should have a squid uh the squid is important and i didn't mention this before but uh, i have sand under this barrel and mycelium under this one so that we can make witch water and uh, sea water salt water whatever it is uh pretty pretty easily so what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate a squid. And we just need to grab one. I think, okay, I, I did grab a squid. And that is step one. Let's make sure we don't have anything else um, so the B is something I'm going to do last, uh, for the record, uh, but we are going to need to kill a hundred bees, which is kind of sad, and the only other thing we need to do left in the monsters is kill the ender dragon 20 times, which is why I have not even close to enough, uh, end crystals. I'm going to get more end crystals and we'll, we'll do that, uh, in a little bit, um, but... 
Let's go to a nice safe spot. Uh, to kill 100 gas is not going to be too difficult, but I don't really want to do it around my base because, you know, gas are awful. Uh, but what we need to do is put out some witch water. And if you drop a squid in some witch water, it turns into gas. Simple as that. Uh, so let's just see. Let's just put that back. Cool. So that's all we needed to do. And with that, we can summon in gas. Uh, obviously, again, like I said, uh, actually, hmm. Let's do a quick test. They can't spawn in there, I don't believe. It's too, too small. Uh, gas need a 5x5 five five area. Um, so there is a couple things we could do uh, if we have troubles, but I, th I think the the key is going to be we're going to take uh, this system and you know, it might duplicate it. I might make all this stuff again. Uh, the mob duplicator, a, a flux point, and the dimensional tank. And what I will do is take that somewhere else. Um, we could this is an idea uh how much obsidian do we have we have a lot of obsidian we could just make an obsidian box um just way off in the distance and that would that would work so maybe that's something i will do uh, i believe i need four times as many end crystals so that is gonna be a little bit of a pain but not really and one last thing or two last things uh, i went ahead and made the 40 creative storage upgrades that we're going to need and i have an extra one um because we're going to need it and i've already set up the oak drawers so basically once we get the final singularities um we'll be good to go and we are at seven thousand eight thousand we're close um so i am going to um do something with the gas you'll see what i do end up doing once uh it's done and then i'm gonna get the last singularity kill a bunch of bees i'm gonna wait just in case the bees are around i don't want them to be angry at me um and then i will probably also go ahead and farm the ender dragon while i am kind of waiting and then we'll come back we'll finish up the monster quests that is going to be one of the last big things uh, and then we will start making our first creative vending upgrade so that is what i'm going to do i will be back once we're ready to do that it is time all those things i said i was going to do I, I i didn't do um there's a reason which i'll show off in a second but it is time finally that is kind of epic by the way um it is time to hit the button for the last time and make the last singularity. So while we're waiting for that, I was gonna go fight some gas. Right, and to do that, I was gonna make another mob duplicator. Right, seems like a good idea. Um, but I forgot how awful this is to craft. Um, it's not that it's extremely expensive or anything, but there's a lot of steps and it's annoying. Uh, so I don't wanna do that. We're gonna try something else. Um, so there is, all of the resources going in um surprisingly the last thing i was waiting on was iron weird i know but um yeah we have or will have all 24 singularities that we need to make into ultimate singularities to make the creative vending upgrade and once we have this the game is pretty much over so um, yeah, it shouldn't be too much longer now. They're, they're working through it. Um, so we're going to do some things. And then I want to try a couple different things to make my life easier. So there goes all the singularities. And we should see them popping in here. 24, 24. Oh, man, that is a wonderful sight. It has taken me a long time to get to this point. Um, but there is all 17 of those singularities and now we have to safely make our way back to our base and to our crafting table 
where we can make the creative vending upgrade. And it should not be too difficult. So there is, oh, they only stack to 16. Um, so there is all of that. We put dead center, one of those, surround it by the, the near uh, infinite storage, the creative storage upgrades. And then it is the emerald upgrades, the singularities, and then the creative storage upgrades again. And there is the creative vending upgrade. Quest completed. <laughs> that is huge because we're going to come over here. And I think I do it this way. Um, we're going to click here. We're going to put that into the upgrades. And then I'm going to take this ultimate singularity. And we're going to put it in there. And then we're going to get a couple stacks out. Um, because we're going to do that exact same recipe again. Um, and yeah, so we have infinite ultimate singularities now. Um, we're going to need the creative storage. Oh, that's not... Um, I might need to make one more of those. So creative storage, we're going to need to make one more of those. Uh, that should not take too terribly long. And then we're also going to need the emerald, um, upgrade. Uh, but yeah, we can just make another one. The, the big thing is these ultimate singularities. Um, we're also going to need a couple more upgrade things. Um, that shouldn't take too long. So... The plan is this. I am going to make uh, a couple more. I wish I could take that out. I can't. There is a lot of a lot of those. Um, what we're going to do to kind of prevent that is fill it up with other things. I think I shift clicked or no, I just clicked on it. I don't know how you're supposed to put those in, um, but that is something that we need to do. And we might need a hopper. That would probably fix this problem. So we're going to do that. Um, and just to kind of make sure that nothing goes wrong, um, we are going to make another upgrade template because we need that. So what is it processing? Oh, nothing. It, it's made them. All right. So we're going to do that. We're going to make a single emerald tier. Uh, we need one of these and then how many spaces do you have one two three four five we're gonna make five more upgrades um, of just whatever type that are nice and cheap I realize that iron is probably not the cheapest for us right now but we're gonna we're gonna fill this up with those upgrades just to, to make sure and uh, let's see, this goes in the center there. And let's try with the green. Can, cannot accept any more upgrades, but can we do that? We can. Okay, so that's how we do it. Um, and now we have infinite of these and these. <laughs> and then we just, you know, fill this out. And it doesn't even matter. Um, once we have another creative vending upgrade, really easy to get. I, I don't know why it took us so long. We just do that. And now we have infinite of these. <laughs> and the game is over. Um, so with that, uh, I want to try. It's not too hard to get more gas. So we're just going to do that. And if I take these out, they are gas so that's how we're going to spawn the gas in um we can put this stuff away now uh <laughs> the game is over this item this singular item is so broken uh obviously it's a creative item creative items are supposed to be broken and that's the whole point of them but that one specifically is really broken uh so we can get some more drawers if need be because who knows what else we'll need and it doesn't even have to be full drawers these half drawers hold a lot of items too. Um, so we're just going to put a few down. And if we need anything else, we can just do it. 
Um, so something else, I don't really feel like making end crystals anymore, so we're going to do that and get a stack of them. Uh, so I can fight the gas, I can go fight the dragon. I'm going to do that off camera, obviously. I'll bring you in for the last one like I've been doing. Um, but there's a couple other things we can do. So let's get the refined storage stuff out of the way. Uh, so refined storage, we got up to uh, 1024 storage part. Uh, let's put that here. And now we have infinite. Uh, and if we wanted to make more of these, we're gonna need advanced processors. So do we have any of those? Let's let's just get a little bit of all of the processors. Uh, we have 99 improved. Let's get advanced um, and a withering. Uh, I don't think we'll need anything else, but uh, if there is anything else that we need, <laughs> um, it'll be pretty easy to get. Uh, so let's see. I guess we can just start, you know, filling this out. Um, I'll probably also work on this a little bit off camera, uh, but we're gonna need ref the quartz enriched iron, which we have a lot of that, and redstone, which we also have a lot of that. Um, so let's just make sure we have all of the processors. And we'll just throw those in here. Um, and then I can just kind of, you know, make whatever we need. So, for example, we need to get the this one. Um, so that's some advanced processors. And we can pretty quickly make half a stack of those. Why not? Um, and then... The next ones, we need more advanced processors. So let's just grab a little bit of those. And we'll make like six of those for right now. And you know what? Those we'll put in here to duplicate. So now we have a stack. Um, and I will just continue doing that. Um, we have the storage housing. So it's just a matter of continuing to get the next tiers and let's make a few more of these all right and then we can use that shift click with the withering processors and there is um, almost the end we have just the 1048s to make and there there we go so all that's left is the infinite storage part. So I am going to cut here. Um, let's just put that there and that there. Why not? Um, I am going to get whatever we need for this. Um, the other things that we're going to need to make is we're going to need to make the creative energy cube and the guilty, everlasting guilty mana pool. Um, this one is gonna be a little bit trickier. Uh, so let's talk about that one for a second. And the key thing is these mana tablets. Now, the mana tablets themselves are not that difficult to make. Um, but it looks like for this, I don't know why it double clicks on that. For this, we are going to need full mana tablets, five of them. That's kind of awful. Um, luckily, <laughs> there is a way to fix that. Uh, also, we're going to need... A fabulous mana pool and the normal mana pools are just living rocks so I will make those uh, manually but there is a really cool way we can get a lot of mana really free and that is with this item so I don't know where we got the blacker lotus um, but let's just put that in here uh, we're also gonna put the fabulous mana pools in there um, and how expensive is this it requires a mana diamond or a mana pearl um, I think we have quite a few of these. Uh, we'll also grab a, do I have any mana diamonds in here? No, I don't actually. Okay. Let's get a single mana diamond. Um, we're also going to want, uh, if I can spell it correctly, some Gaia's spirit. Uh, we'll go ahead and put that in here. 
and we'll get a mana diamond. That should be nice and easy. Um, there's actually not enough mana in that one, but there is in this one. If we can sneak that in. Cool. So there is the mana diamond. We'll just put that in there. We'll get the mana pearl. We'll put that in there. And um, yeah, these blacker lotuses. Uh, infinite mana. Uh, so if you add these to something that has mana in it, uh, it, it fills it up. Um, and then we can just, you can be broken. Uh, we don't need flowers anymore. Um, we will need our wand and we can change this to, okay, so it's going to transfer into these and it's just gonna fill up the mana pool, um, or rather the mana tablet. And we just gotta let that fill up. Um, I actually don't know how much a mana tablet can hold, but I think it's a lot. Um, so, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go kill a bunch of gas. I'm going to go kill a bunch of ender dragons. And I do want to see um, what happens if we... Let's get rid of something in our inventory. Uh, what happens if we put the mana tablet full in here? Um, are they all full? Uh, let's just put those. They are. Cool. So actually, uh, we can go ahead and make that real quick. So I guess let's just go ahead and put some stuff away that we don't really need. Um, we're going to need a bunch of these. I don't know how many mana pools we're going to need and all that kind of fun stuff. But uh, let's see. We're missing a lot of stuff. There is five of these like right here. The outside is other than the bottom is the fabulous mana pools. And then the normal mana pools. And I guess we can just make the rest of those into mana pools. Uh, okay, so we can just dump things off that we don't need, which is most things. Uh, we need two more of those. We're going to need a bunch of those, a bunch of those, a bunch of those. And I think we're going to need some Terra Steel because uh, I think that this recipe is Gaia Spirit Ingots. Let's go ahead and make a few of those. And then we need Elementium which we've been kind of storing for a while. And is that everything? It is. There is the Everlasting Guilty pool, which is creative mana. Um, that is a creative mana pool. It will never run out of mana, ever. Uh, and then the last thing that we need to make that's creative items is the Creative Energy Cube. This is also not that difficult, but it's going to take a little bit of time. Um, so what I'm going to do is... Uh, we need to make all of the different energy cubes. Uh, so basic one. Uh, I am going to basically do that. Um, and I think if we make just one basic and store the energy tablets, it's pretty much everything we need. So I'm going to prep that. I am going to get, uh, the infinite storage part prepared. Um, put that in here all all figured out and then go kill a bunch of gas and dragons and bees and then we will come back and finish this series off so I'll be back once all that is done this is it we are so close 19 out of 20 um, one more dragon to spawn in I did a lot of things between clips um, and while the dragon is spawning, I always kind of like to hang over here uh, because this is one of two that are uh, iron barred, I guess caged, that would be the, the term. So I put a bunch of enchants on my bow. It has power five, magnet six, quick shot six, which is really good, multi shot, which is awful, 
and after the second roar, the dragon starts up again. So, there is a bit of a quirk to this fight, uh, and I've gotten decently good. You can see all of the portals out in the uh, uh, edge of the island, and the biotite, which is the black ore that is on the ground, um, fun fact, the dragon respawns more of that every time uh, you kill it. So there's there's a lot of it around. Um, there's a ton of eggs just kind of hanging out. And yeah, there is a little bit of a quirk with this dragon fight. Uh, namely, I have to finish it off with a sword attack in order for it to count for the quest. Um, I didn't discover this until about, oh, three or four dragons in. Yeah, fun times. Uh, he's gonna go land or she, rather. Uh, it does lay eggs, I guess, technically. Um, and we might be able to fin it, uh, finish it off there. It is not the easiest to do that, um, but I did it. <laughs> it's not the easiest to uh, hit the dragon in midair, um, but I did manage to do that, apparently. Uh, and it counted, so... There is all 20 dragon kills, um, which means we can say goodbye to the end and hop back through the portal. Uh, so I did a little bit of enchanting. Um, I made a better enchanting system. So pearlescent in shelves, uh, let's just look up the shelves. Uh, I made pearlescent in shelves, which is just iron pearls and in rods in shelves, dragon breath, duplicated it, of course. Uh, and then I made a bee shelf as well, some beehives and just a bookshelf. Um, that is giving us, for the record, like level 80 enchants. Can't show it off, but believe me, it, it does level 80 enchants. And so to help with that, um, to get there, I made a pretty quick and dirty um, experience farm. Just a clock on a dispenser and infinite uh, bottles of enchanting, which the recipe is pretty easy. Uh, so we have just two, two things to fight. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to need like eight, uh, gas. And I have a system for these guys as well. Um, so defeating gas was kind of annoying because, um, putting gas into the world with these mob imprisonment tools is kind of a pain. Um, and so I have an obsidian box to keep them trapped. Uh, I have some logistical sorters to fill an empty out an item user from Cyclic. Now this was, obviously everything is going to be really easy to craft, but this one was not too bad. Uh, trip wire hooks, gold, dispenser. Um, and I have that set up so that I put the gas in here. Um, the mob and, oh, it is still on. It's not supposed to be on. Um, so what I was supposed to do is be down here and kill them like this. Uh, so they spawn pretty regularly. I forgot to turn it off, um, but we should only need like there we go. It's gonna say like one more. We're gonna we're gonna finish killing all these guys. All right, that is all of them. So I just built this to make it a little bit easier. Um, if I would have remembered to turn this off. Uh, it would have been better, but, uh, so that is the gas, and then the last quest in this one is the bees, um, and I've already killed most of the bees, they are adorably pathetic to kill, and I hate that we have to kill them, but we do, but luckily these guys are, um, artificially spawned, so it's not a problem, and they just make the the cutest sounds. Um, I do feel really bad about this. Uh, Alright, there should be enough in there. Let's just finish it. Um, if my sweeping edge, there's the chapter complete monster. If my sweeping edge activates and they get angry, um, they will sting me. However, we have um, a charm talisman, talisman that protects against poison. Um, but these guys will get mad at me um, for a little bit and then they'll forget. But that is all of the monsters defeated. So we completed that chapter. Next is the refined storage. So I have set up the infinite storage part um, to be crafted. Really easy. Apparently there were some extras in there. 
that's whatever. And as you can see, I just kind of expanded whenever I need some, needed something. I just made a, a, got a new drawer out and put it in there and just made an infinite of them. Um, so there is the storage part. And then we combine it with the advanced storage housing. And we get the infinite storage disk, which completes that chapter. So if we put this in here, um, it's just infinite now. Uh, we have infinite storage for all of our items. And the last thing we need to do is this. So I am going to, uh, let's just grab all of these. And we'll just do something like this. Um, so if we do this properly, it'll be pretty easy. Just go ahead and put these in here manually. Uh, we need the basic energy cube. Now we've made the ultimate energy cube before. It's not that difficult. The only thing that was even remotely difficult is the energy tablets and then also um, the uh, atomic alloy, which wasn't even that difficult. I just needed to make more. So that is pretty much it. And that should be everything and hopefully everything is in the right place and it is and there is the creative energy cube um so we have officially and you know what we can just place that down um right here and never worry about energy ever again um so output is on all sides perfect infinite energy uh so that is going to be it for this series now before we go there's something that i did uh that i wanted to show off so i was just kind of showing off this world uh to my girlfriend and uh basically i flew up in the sky and looked down on it and it looked really cool so i wanted to show that off um i am really happy with how the map looks it actually looks interesting um but it looks cooler from up top so let's go up to like 200 uh, we're going to look down and then in the series. So um, it's going to come into view as we slowly go down. Uh, and I am slowly going down. So this is, let's, let's scoot down just a little bit so we can see it all. This is a really cool looking view, in my opinion. You can see all the apiaries. Everything looks interesting and different. Um, it looks a lot cooler than on the map. I wish these three weren't the same, but oh well. And yeah. That is really cool. I love, I like this base. Um, I am actually really proud of this base. So that is going to be it for this series and the episode, but the series is the bigger part. Um, so what's next? Well, there is a sequel to this and I believe it's made by the same person. Um, will we play that? Potentially. Um, will we play that soon? Maybe. Um, we'll, we'll probably play it. Uh, I'm going to check it out on my own and make sure that it is um, worthwhile and finished and it's different enough. Um, we'll see It might if it has different mods or if it has... I know there's different versions of bees or um, different ways to do the bee breeding. We'll see what everything is. This is Minecraft 1.16. I believe there's a 1.18 um, resourceful bees mod. Uh, available so maybe it's in a different version I'll look into it but um, we will probably play that because I love bees and uh, we probably won't do that anytime too soon we got some other things to finish up on the channel um, other series to kind of work on and other things to get back to that I would like to get back to um, but this was a great series this is a good mod pack I do have recommend it if you like bees if you like the kind of grindiness that bees uh, offer this one's not the worst there are much much grindier bees um 
the bees are fun. I've enjoyed bees ever since they were uh, introduced in modded Minecraft back with forestry. And I would always play with the, the forestry bees. Uh, and then, yeah, that, that got really difficult. <laughs> and um, now with actual Minecraft bees, it's a little bit... Uh, a little bit different because they're actual mobs, but uh, I'm rambling. That's going to be it for today's episode and this series. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next series. Bye!